Hello folks, so just to say um, something about the basket hilted backsword or broadsword, okay? So this is um, an, an early design, in fact pretty much the earliest design of basket hilted sword that, that survives. Um, this is modelled on an example from the Mary Rose, uh, Henry VIII's flagship that sunk in 1545. Um, only one sort of complete um, sword hilt would, remained on the ship, um, the others were corroded away, uh, and, and the hilt of this is modelled on that one. The blade is a bit different in that the Mary Rose sword actually is double-edged, this one is a backsword blade so it's single-edged. Uh, backsword just means one-edged, one single-edged, uh, and uh, a broadsword is double-edged. Okay, um, so the thing to say really, and the point I want to make, I'll say some more about this weapon at some time, at some point, is that if you look at this and ignore these bars in the middle here, this is essentially a medieval sword. So if you can see, you've got a straight, either single or double-edged blade, then you've got a, a straight grip, you've got a round pommel, this one's a, a ball shape, and incidentally and importantly it's a hollow ball, not a solo, solid ball. If it was solid it would be far too heavy. Uh, and then in the middle there you've got a cross guard, can you see going through there? One quill on at the front, one quill on at the back. Um, so it is essentially a medieval cross hilted sword which has had bars added to it to protect the hand. Um, we actually know relatively little about the early, earliest development of the British basket hilted sword because so few survive, both in art and archaeologically. Um, and this is one of the earliest designs surviving and we don't really know how they got to this point. Uh, we don't know if there was, um, perhaps there was an earlier one which maybe only had the knuckle bow at the front there, which is this bar going down the front, and maybe a bar at the side, and then perhaps they added two bars in a cross here. Um, maybe this is the vestigial finger ring uh, from, the, from the earlier side sword that I was talking about. We don't really know, we can guess. Um, I think what I've just explained there is the likely development of it, and then they probably realised that you need a bit of protection on the thumb side, so they added this bar which goes from the bottom of the knuckle bow up to the side of the rear quillon, which provides good protection for the thumb there. Um, so it's you know relatively simple, it can be made fairly easily by anyone who's got basic blacksmithing skills and can um, heat well uh, bars together. Um, and they could add it retrospectively onto a medieval sword. And that's probably what happened in the first instance, that someone had a cross-hilted sword and said to his local armourer, or perhaps even, even just a general blacksmith, can you add a bar on here and a bar on there? And then his mate said, oh, I like the design of that, I'd like to copy that, but maybe I'll add another couple of bars. And it probably happened like this. But you end up with what's called a basket, and it's called a basket because it literally goes around your hand like a protective iron basket. Um, and this style of hilt uh, became more developed, uh, more complete, uh, and uh, resulted in what most of you will probably recognise as the Highland or Scottish basket hilted broadsword, which incidentally is still carried today by um, officers of Highland regiments in the British Army as a, as a parade sword. Um, and the basket hilted sword was uh, very, very popular in the 17th century in Britain um, in, in, as, as a, a, a weapon of war, even when people perhaps wore rapiers in civilian life. Um, and it was a very popular weapon in the 18th century. And really, except for surviving in Highland regiments, in Scottish regiments, as a, seen as a Scottish weapon, um, it really faded into the background during the Napoleonic period and was overtaken by the sabre, uh, which was in some ways easier to produce, but it was also a question of fashion as well, because the sabre was a, a style of sword that was more seen as more Eastern European and came with the development of new types of um, cavalry, for example, the, the hussars, uh, which were copied from Hungarian and, um, and Polish kind of models, um, and so they copied their style of sword as well. So there we go, the basket-hilted sword, it was in use in Henry VIII's time, um, 
Probably the earliest examples date to um, sort of 1520, 1530 in Britain. There were basket-hilted stars of sword on co in continental Europe, in Germany and Italy as well, um, but I won't talk about them now. Thank you.